Will, a young man faces a big challenge when his girlfriend vanishes suddenly during a chaotic time. The story then shifts back to earlier events. Will, kind-hearted and determined, loves Sam and hopes to marry her. However, he must first get approval from her dad, a strict ex-army officer. On a bright day, Will visits Sam's house. Nervous, but hopeful, Sam's mom welcomes him warmly, but the atmosphere changes when her dad appears. Will tries to win him over by sharing his plan to buy a house for himself and Sam. However, Sam's dad disagrees, thinking Will wants to take Sam away. They argue, and the situation becomes tense. Will leaves to calm down, not yet having mentioned their upcoming baby or his marriage plans. The next day, Will gets a call from Sam. Her voice is shaky, and suddenly, the call cuts off. Will tries to reach her again but can't. Worried, he rushes to the airport, only to find out no flights are available. He goes back to Sam's house and sees her dad, visibly upset and scared for Sam. In a change of heart, her dad asks Will for help, and they decide to drive to find her, united in their concern for Sam. They drive through a city in chaos, facing traffic and crowds. At a stop, a group of intimidating men demand money. Sam's dad, protective and ready, scares them off with a gun, safely back on the road. Will asks him about the gun. Sam's dad explains, it's necessary for protection, keeping a watchful eye as they continue their urgent journey to find Sam. The trip gets harder when they run into a military roadblock. Luckily, Sam's dad's experience as a former army officer helps them. He talks to the soldiers, and they are soon allowed to continue. As it gets dark, their journey becomes riskier. A police car follows them, driven by a man who seems to have lost control. When they stop to deal with him, he almost attacks them. They have no choice but to rush back to their car and drive off quickly, with the wild man chasing them. In a quick decision, they leave their car in the middle of the road to trick him and take a different path. Just when they think they're safe, a new problem comes up. Deer run across the road, causing them to swerve, lose control, and crash into a tree. The crash stops them suddenly. As Will tries to recover, he sees the crazy man from the police car coming towards him with a gun. Just then, Sam's dad appears out of nowhere, tackles the man, and saves them again. The crazy man angrily fights with Sam's dad. Despite being older, Sam's dad proves he's still strong and skilled, managing to defeat the attacker but injuring himself in the process. After this fight, they see their car badly needs fixing. They drive the damaged car to a nearby garage where the mechanic, seeing their urgent need, asks for a lot of money to fix it. With no other choices, they reluctantly pay the high price. While the car is being repaired, they find out the mechanic is also going to the same city. Worrying about more car problems and needing help, Sam's dad decides to take the mechanic with them. They start driving again, but soon run into trouble. Suddenly, another car hits them at high speed, flipping their car over. Will quickly gets out and finds out the people in the other car didn't make it. They were running away from robbers. As the robbers approach Will's group, they manage to escape just in time by driving away. As they keep going, the weather turns bad. There's thunder, dark clouds, and heavy rain that makes it hard to see. They stop under a bridge to wait out the storm. They've been traveling for three days now, facing both tough situations and bad weather. The next morning, the rain stops but it's extremely hot. Feeling hungry and thirsty, they stop at a small store. They pick up some food and drinks, taking a short break from their tough journey. Then they come across a field on fire, likely caused by the extreme heat. Amidst the chaos, they see a girl calling for help. When Will goes to help her, he quickly finds out it's a trap set by robbers. Suddenly, the robbers take all their gasoline and food. Now without fuel and supplies, surviving becomes very hard. Will, Sam's dad, and the mechanic make a plan and go after the robbers. The mechanic shoots at the robber's car, hitting the tires. The car spins out of control, flips over, and crashes, leaving no one alive. With leaking fuel and a nearby fire, things get even more dangerous. They have just a few moments to get their things before the car might blow up. They manage to get their supplies and run back to their car just as the robber's car explodes. The explosion scares them, but they're glad to be safe. After everything, the mechanic feels very guilty for causing the deaths. She can't handle the guilt and asks Will and Sam's dad to stop the car near a park. She asks for some time alone, overwhelmed by what happened. 
Will tries to comfort her, but seeing how upset she is, he gives her the space she needs and goes back to the car. Will and Sam's dad rest, but when they wake up, they find the mechanic is gone. With no idea where she went and needing to keep moving, they continue their journey without her. As they continue driving, they see another disaster. A train has come off the tracks, adding to the widespread damage. Will looks around for any useful items they might need. Meanwhile, Sam's dad's health gets worse because of the broken ribs he got from fighting earlier. Will gives him a painkiller to help with the pain. In a quiet moment, Sam's dad asks Will to promise to always take care of his daughter and their future baby. He now trusts Will, seeing his kindness throughout their tough time. Will feels proud and promises to keep his word. Just when things start to feel a bit better, a group on motorcycles attacks them. There's no easy escape, so Will tries to talk to them, but it's too dangerous. Sam's dad tells Will to keep driving while he fights back. He finds a chance and shoots at the motorcycle gang's truck, causing a big explosion that lets them get away. As they drive off, Sam's dad passes away, leaving Will very sad but still focused on driving. Soon after, their car stops working. With a hard choice ahead and unable to leave Sam's dad in the broken car, Will sets the car on fire as a simple tribute and walks on. On the fifth day of their journey, very tired, Will stops a passing car for help. The people in the car are wary at first, thinking he might be a robber, but they help him after he gives them his gun. Will leads the family to his parents' house nearby, offering them a place to stay in return for using their car to keep going. They agree, and Will drives towards his city. When he arrives, he finds the city in ruins. The city is covered in ash, the streets are full of broken things, and the buildings are badly damaged. When Will gets to his apartment, he sees it has been destroyed. On the door, Sam left a note with an address and a message saying, Come and find me. Hopeful, Will quickly goes to the address. As he gets close, a boy with a gun comes out, scared of thieves. Just as he's about to react, he recognizes Will and puts his gun down. Before they can talk, Sam appears and runs to hug Will. They are both happy and relieved to be together again. But not everyone is happy. A neighbor, who likes Sam, watches them jealously. Tired from everything, Will falls asleep but is soon woken up by an earthquake. Outside, he sees strange, colorful clouds in the sky. Confused and worried, Will asks Sam and the neighbor what caused all this destruction. The neighbor says it was a planned attack by American forces, which also caused other disasters like earthquakes and storms. Will finds it hard to believe because the damage is too big to be caused by just one thing. As the tension grows, the neighbor's anger towards Will gets worse. The next day, he tricks Will into going to a thick forest, planning to get rid of him to win Sam's love. As he tells Will about his feelings for Sam, things get tense. Just as the neighbor is about to shoot, Will defends himself using Sam's dad's gun. Right then, a volcano erupts nearby, adding to the chaos. In a rush to escape, Will takes Sam to their car and they drive off, escaping the non-stop destruction. The movie ends with their future unsure. They keep running from disaster, not knowing if they'll find safety. But at least they are together, facing whatever comes next.